You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Megan Knight with your WMAR 2 News update. One person is dead after a party bus crashed in Hartford County. It's happened around 6 o'clock Sunday morning near Bell Camp. State police say the bus carrying 24 people was heading northbound on Interstate 95 when the driver lost control and hit a guardrail. One passenger died at the scene. The others were taken to the hospital. No word on what caused the driver to lose control. A deadly double shooting in North Baltimore. This was just before 1230 Sunday morning when officers responded to Reisterstown Road and found two men who had been shot. One died at the hospital. No word on the condition of the other victim. Meanwhile, a 17 year old girl was shot on West North Avenue. Investigators say Saturday night the suspect began talking to the teen in, inside of a business. She and her friends then told the man they wanted to be left alone. That's when he followed the group and shot the girl. She is expected to be OK. A former lacrosse player at Stevenson University is among three people recently found dead in a Mexico town near the U.S. border. Calum Robinson, along with his brother Jake Robinson and their friend Jack Rode, were all reported missing on April 29th. They were in Mexico on a surfing trip. Their bodies were found on Friday in a well in Baja, California, Mexico, just south of California. Calum was from Australia and graduated from Stevenson in 2015. Coach Paul Cantabin says he excelled at lacrosse and news of his death has hit the school community pretty hard. Last night we had over 50 people here, alumni here, and they were all were saying the same things about him and what a great person he is, how they changed his life. And that's when you get that kind of person involved in your program, it's unbelievable. But as this wasn't our program, like he affected everything he did. Wherever he went, he, he did that. And so it's just really a, a tragedy, and we'll de definitely miss Calum for a long time. Now, three Mexican citizens have been arrested on suspicions of kidnapping, but they have not been charged with the men's murders. Well, we're dealing with warmer air out there, and yes, temperatures are back into those mid and upper 70s. You'll also start to see a few rain showers and a couple rumbles of thunder as we head in towards the afternoon and evening time frame, thanks to a lot of this moisture still hanging with us. All part of this larger system that keeps us quite mild as we head in towards the overnight hours as well. You'll notice temperatures still hanging around those mid to low 60s, especially closer towards the Baltimore metro area and then even warmer as we head towards the eastern shore. But this setup continues for us into the week. You'll notice that temperatures hang around the upper 70s, low to mid 80s as we head into Wednesday, then back to the 70s. But keep in mind that we still see rain and thunder showers possible throughout the week as until about the weekend. Megan. All right, Caesar, thank you. And stay with WMAR2news.com for updates to stories throughout the day. And for your news and weather while you're out and about, make sure you download our app. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Knight.